MRI in prostate cancer has the ability to transform the way we think about the disease and also the way we manage the disease. And it's quite interesting to reflect that for the last hundred years, we've been managing prostate cancer without any uh, information on location, volume, multiplicity or burden. And that's why all our treatments have been directed at the prostate. Um, MRI uh, allows us now to identify the cancer, describe it, communicate it, um, characterize it, um, and uh, biopsy it better, uh, and hopefully in the future treat it. So it's, it's a complete transformation in the way that we do things. Um, the PROMISE study that came out after Christmas that um, we were involved in showed that an MRI-based diagnostic strategy is 100% better than our old diagnostic strategy. So the sensitivity for clinically significant disease was 93% versus 48% using the old model. And uh, sometimes treatments are embraced when they have a 10% improvement. This is a 100% improvement. Uh, and I think at this meeting, we're just starting to explore the ramifications of these data. MRI, I think, will have a huge impact on patients because at the moment, if you're at risk, it's a linear pathway uh, through biopsy and to diagnosis. Biopsy is unpleasant, uh, it can be dangerous uh, if you get an infection with a multi-resistant organism, and we now know uh, that it's inefficient at identifying the disease that we typically want to identify. So what PROMISE has shown us is that many men with clinically significant disease, uh, when undergoing biopsy, are told that they're, they're all clear when indeed they're not. So MRI offers um, quite a different opportunity for patients. Uh, they can be at risk for whatever reason, family history, high PSA, uh, and now they can have an MRI, which in its negative form will allow them to exit from the care pathway uh, with reassurance because the likelihood of having clinically significant disease is very, very low. Um, equally, if the MRI is positive, uh, it gives opportunity to the individual uh, because we can watch the MRI over time. One thing that MRI is is reliable. Um, and we can use the MRI to help biopsy uh, the prostate, which we now know is a much more efficient and precise process than the random interrogation of the organ. So um, for, for men, it offers more opportunity, um, fewer biopsies, better biopsies, better risk stratification and hopefully that will translate to better therapeutic allocation.